My name is Executive Chef Rick from uh, Las Casuelas Terrazas. We've been here for 40 years, open for 40 years, just here in the La Terrazas. And we've actually been around for 60 years. Besides our food, we are actually well known for our patio, which uh, provides live music for all of our guests. We have tourists coming in from all over the world. Um, a lot of people come drive all the way from LA just to come and try our food come and uh, enjoy our patio, our music, um, and our ambiance. With all the great events that we have going on every single month, we wanna make sure that all of our tourists leave here satisfied and happy and with the notion of wanting to come back um, every single time that they visit. With so many people having dietary restrictions, we wanna make sure that our menu adapts to a lot of uh, those guests and making sure that everybody here has a satisfying meal, especially when they're coming in large groups. Today I'm gonna to show you our signature dish, Camarones a la Diabla, uh, a revamp on our traditional dish uh, with a slight twist. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be starting with um, a little bit of oil in the pan. And once, now that it's nice and heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic nice minced garlic and get that going. Just want to make sure that it's sweating, not super burnt. If you need to drop your temperature, go ahead and drop your temperature. You don't want to over toast them. Now that it's nice and hot, I'm going to go ahead and add our shrimp. These jumbo shrimp that we get are actually a sourced out by a local company that provides us with all of our fresh fish, shrimp, and almost everything else that we need on a single day basis. So because my pan is a little bit small, we're just gonna go ahead and do a few of them, a little bit. Now that you got it nice and pink, we're gonna go ahead and deglaze it with a little bit of white wine just to make sure that all that flavor pulls out from the pan. Very easy to do at home. Making sure that the shrimp open up. And for those of you that don't know, deglazing is actually just a form of pulling, extracting all the flavor that gets stuck on the pan. I mean, unless you have a Teflon pan, you don't really get a lot of um, sticking to it. So now that the shrimp are a little bit pretty, pretty well cooked on, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in our homemade Diablo sauce, which is actually, it's a very mild, very mild uh, sauce, but it does have a kick to it, a nice kick, uh, finished kick, but it also has an element of sweetness, and that's to counterbalance the chile de arbol, which are very, very um, dry and uh, spicy. You wanna go ahead and let that reduce just a tad bit, just so the sauce thickens a little bit, but not breaks. And, and that's as fast as we can. That's why we pride ourselves right now to be able to do, be able to get your, your food delivered to your table as soon as possible because everything that we're building here is for speed and quality as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start plating this up. Pulled out a nice, fresh, um, as cute as I could find a plate for you guys today. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build a little bit of height to our dish. And usually this dish would have Six, five to six shrimp, that's usually your, um, the amount. But since my pan is a little bit small, we're gonna cut that down just a tad bit. And so, plating wise, just go ahead and stand those up for you guys right there. Right there. 
And then that residual sauce is actually what's gonna get poured right all over all of that right there. And as the sauce thickens, it actually just, um, spikes your spice level a little bit up because you're burning the chilies. And just for a nice finish, so with every order of uh, camarones a la diabla that you get, you actually get half of an avocado, which is very not common for a lot of restaurants to do. And that is because avocado prices have, tend, have a tendency of spiking and fluctuating very much. So what we do here is we pride ourselves in making, giving you as best quality as we can. And all of our avocados are actually sourced with, uh, they're either California, most of them are actually California avocados which are very, very, very good. And most of them, when they're in very good season, they are extremely delicious. Just gonna fan these out just a tad bit. just for flavor and better looks. So go ahead and add a little bit of cilantro here. That actually adds another element to the dish. Here you have our Camarones a la Diabla, LCT style. Next time you're in downtown Palm Springs, come and visit us at Las Casolas Terraza, where you can have plenty of great Mexican food, Mexican drinks, and great ambiance.